Alright, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are in the drum still, Hojo's secret research laboratory, or laboratory, or however you want to say it. And uh, we've gone through all four wards, I think. Well, we did three, then two, then four. Not sure if we originally came from one or not, but uh, we haven't been into ward one from the drum, let's put it that way. And... Yeah, Hojo has said that he's got all the data he needs currently, which for someone like me who knows Hojo, that's very ominous and not a good thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have the elevator is now active, so we're going to go meet up with uh, Cloud and Barrett. So join the two parties together. Let's go. Or at least we're going to try to. Who knows if it'll actually work that way. Could this be a trap? Don't worry, the elevators are safe. All right, if you say so. Uh, uh. Huh? Are we there already? No, something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. That seems like an oddly specific thing for Aerith to say. That the elevators are safe. How would she know? And why is it that specific? I think it might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? <laughs> Bands back together. Past time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Main scenario, source of the sound. And main scenario, find the others. All right, let's take a look. So find the others we got is divided into two subgroups. There's Cloud and Tifa. A way out. Genova, a mysterious life form, is kept deep within the Shinra building. As the party approaches the creature, they are intercepted by Sephiroth, who sends Cloud hurtling to the lower levels. And that's how we got into this whole mess. Um, who is my current active party? Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. So what I'm going to do is I am going to reassign the materia back onto Tifa and Aerith. Actually, What kind of level is everybody? So Cloud's level 37, Tifa's level 38, Aerith is level 36, and Barrett's level 37. Yeah, okay. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the materia back on off of Barrett and on to Tifa, Aerith, and Cloud. Appropriately, I will see you on the other side. All right, so having done, having moved the materia onto Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith appropriately and off of Barrett, we find ourselves with two empty materia slots, one on Tifa and one on Aerith. So what do I want to equip here? We got Revival, Healing, and Ice on Tifa. We got Healing and Fire over here on Aerith. Cloud has the Lightning Materia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, Tifa 
wind. And we're going to give We're going to give Aerith Yeah, we're going to give Aerith MP up, which is currently on Cloud. So that way I can I then have to give Cloud something else. We're going to give Cloud What do I want to give give Cloud? I want to give Cloud there's no more material that we need to work on. Let's give EXP up, because why not, for now. Once I have more materia maxed, then I will be, I'll go and I'll revisit and I'll actually put the materia I want on, assuming I actually get to that point in this playthrough as opposed to, you know, later. The elevator is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> Glad to hear he enjoyed the show. We're back again. Yeah. Hey. I think it'd be far more accurate to say Hojo's done having his fun here. A man like Hojo is never done having his fun. Yeah, so we were coming from over there, and then Sephiroth uh, cut the bridge and made us fall. And in the middle here was where Genova was. Was. What the hell's going on? Who would? We may find out soon. Let's go. Yeah, in the original game, you definitely follow a blood trail once uh, the body of Genova goes missing. But it's not purple shimmering, purpley black shimmering, and. Uh, pulsing, shall we say. It's just red blood. President's office, and then the roof. Wait. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. Head for the roof, yes or no? I I can't think of what central terminal... Oh, the central terminal of the drum. I can't think of anything else that can be done, because there's not exactly like any... stores. We got all the chests or any, and everything like that, so... Yeah, let's head for the roof. I'm ready to do this. Let's go.
the ominous trail. Nice. That musical theme is definitely from the original game. Both in this situation and others. Head to the balcony just outside the president's office. All right. So that's the way we're supposed to go, but I want to see what's over here first. It says no. <laughs> Game says no. Is there anything over here? Nope. What about the other way? Also no. some chairs and desks. The Shinra building interior is very black. Ah ha ha, ah ha ha. I, I see what they've done. They, this is the layout of this level, 69th floor, in the original game. With like like these are like the secretary desks or reception desks and then you can go up these stairs or those stairs to get to the, the president's office up there but I want to look over here first Let's, uh, let's go see President Shinra's office in person. Uh, it looks like we took the other stairway to uh, this ominous trail. That's okay, it doesn't look like we missed anything. over here. I'm curious who that is. In the original game, the door is on this side, but I guess in this game it's over here. Help me, please. All right, let's see who's calling for help.
But of course we gotta rest up first. Hey. Is anyone out there? Hey. Uh no. Please help me. New weapons or armor. No new accessories, no new materia. Is that voice coming from out here or somewhere in here? I guess there's only the one way to go, so... Is anyone out there? Please help me! Hey! Help me! Please! Hey! Is anyone out there? Hey! the way you want something more don't you more than this right here talk to me again like you know me <laughs> to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra, without Mako energy, a stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people, help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. 
one last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. The source of everything. What's happening? It's an illusion. Stay calm. Oh boy, well that's an interesting new way for this to go. Genova Dreamweaver, a top-secret Shinra experimental specimen. Information on it is scarce, but it is believed to induce hallucinations. Once its health falls below a certain level, its stagger gauge cannot be filled. It drops an astral cuff. You can't steal anything from it. It's resistant to sleep and magic. It's immune to slow stop and I want to say... Well, it's not magic, but I don't, I don't know what that... I still don't know what that symbol is. That's okay. Yeah, in the... I'm actually just going to take a moment here to, to pause. In the original game, you get up to President Shinra's office to find him already dead with Sephiroth's sword sticking out of his back. Uh, slumped over his desk and now probably because this is of how they've done it so like where they they haven't redone the whole game in this uh, segment this is just the first part of the original game uh, because they've done it in installments the reveal and unfurling of the story and Sephiroth's identity is much, much slower in the original game. As a matter of fact, it isn't until about this point that Sephiroth even becomes a thing. But we saw Sephiroth all the way back after the first Maka reactor bombing in this version. So that's probably why this is this these events have unfurled in a different way.
And I feel like we should get Leviathan out here. Duty calls. So right now it's immune to everything, it looks like. <laughs>
I think the tentacles are just, like, continuously respawning. Uh, so I, I have not assessed a tentacle. I got your number. Uh, so tentacle, a part of Genova Dreamweaver, it appears at will from the ground and squirms in a repugnant manner. Ha! Ah, tactical data not available, it's weak to fire, ice, lightning, wind, and physical. Bring it on! Stay back! Good timing, controller.
Also, I love this new version of Genova's theme. Why the heck did, did, uh, how did Genova move? So that was a complete waste of a limit break. Also well aware that this, uh, episode is going long. But, uh, I can't leave it here very well, could I? Of course, we're all stopped. Almost have her. It's over. 
Barrett, are you hurt? <clears throat> Don't think so. <sighs> this death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Tifa and Aerith have left the party, so right now it's just Cloud. Very interesting. But I know this episode has gone long, so I'm going to call an end to the episode here. You know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time as we uh, head out onto the balcony and uh, try and hitch a ride with that uh, helicopter. See you then. <laughs>